Okay, well, a quick change of plans. That's what part of what this trip is all about, is testing adaptability and thinking on my feet. So, now that won't work very good. Eh, you get a little bit. Anyway, so, Prairie Creek uh, uh, was just too, <laughs> yeah, without the water pump, uh, just, yeah, too too much discomfort. So I called the next place on my uh, agenda, uh, RV or Mendocino Woods RV Park. I think that's what the right name is. So anyway, um, so I'm here and I called them and said, can I come two days early? And they said, fine. And so I'll still uh, be here for three nights. I'm just going to have to figure out how to adjust my schedule uh, I'll probably figure find another place to stop between here and Tracy. Um, or I may call uh, my friends and see if I can come early. Anyway, so, um, but I checked in here and there's a very nice park. And, you know, it's just, I'm full hookup. Uh, I've got water. I've got power. I've got sewer. I've got a jacuzzi, which I don't know if it's, it looks hot, but they've got a padlock on it. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to use it. But. One thing that was really nice is they've got this uh, these people who are own a Mexican restaurant and decided to cook here uh, today. And I, I don't know what, you know, I guess they're trying to drum up business. I'm not sure. Anyway, so uh, they made me a burrito. Uh, for, I bought some, had some Bex in the refrigerator. So I'm eating lunch and uh, boy, I, it's wonderful. And O'Malley has survived the trip pretty well. Um, he came out in the car a few times and sidled up to me while I was driving and just needed some reassurance, I think. Just got patted him a few times and he meowed at me and then he went back in, in the back and uh, I, I ran, made an arrangement for him that seems to work pretty well. So I think we'll stick with that. So, lunch.